So if you're anything like me, you spend a lot of your time in online editors in tools like Moodle and others, which provide basic editing capability and also include a HTML view where you need to go in and make changes to code. Now that's fine, but you very quickly outrun the capability of such an editor, because although this is fairly well formatted, there's no advanced capability here to be able to make changes and see the impact of those changes. You end up making some changes in the code, toggling back to the normal WYSIWYG editor, finding that you've made the code change incorrectly and repeating that whole process. I've got a really neat way of connecting up Moodle or indeed any online editor with my very favorite editor, Sublime Text, so that I can make changes immediately in Sublime Text and have those reflected over in Moodle. It uses a tool called Ghost Text, which is a plugin that you have both to your browser and also to the Sublime Text. And I'll be showing you how those plugins get added later in this recording. But let's start with what it does. It's really, really neat. So here I am, I've got a basic uh, HTML page and I want to start to edit its HTML. All I do is I click on the ghost text button in my browser and it opens that exact same page, the HTML of that page in Sublime Text. So you can see this now on the left. But what's really, really interesting and exciting is that any changes that I make in Sublime Text will be immediately reflected in Moodle. So let me show you. If I start just adding some text here, you'll notice that that change is happening immediately in the uh, Moodle Atto editor as well. More importantly to that, we can now start to use some of the advanced editing capability, starting to insert maybe embed codes and other HTML and see that happen in real time. So you, uh, in another recording, you will have met my Unsplash Embedder tool this provides embed code for an unsplash image such as this one that you can then paste into Moodle. So for instance, if I want this image and I want the attribution for that, I want it floated to the left, to the right of the text, I hit copy embed code and I can return to Moodle to paste that in. But because I've got the HTML editor here on the left, I can simply paste that in over here and immediately see its impact on the right hand screen back in Moodle. Uh, similarly, uh, in, again, in another recording, I've got information about a set of user interface elements. Here they are here. These are extra little bits of code that you can add to your Moodle course to decorate them up. Maybe I want to add this important box. So I copy the code there, back to Moodle again, so we can see that change. And again, because these two technologies are connected up, I can add that in the page wherever I might want it to appear. So maybe underneath the table, paste that in you can see immediately that that box has uh, appeared in the Moodle editor. And I can start to, for instance, insert text, that text appears. So you can see how very rapid it is to edit content this way and to see the results of that content edit immediately in the browser. Sublime Text is a much more powerful editor than is ever possible in the native editing tools. It's got features like find and replace, which can be very um, powerful. It can also itself be extended. And I've extended my own version of Sublime Text with some extra capability. So for example, um, the Moodle uses Bootstrap, which is excellent. Bootstrap is a quick way to decorate up your content. And so I have added the, the Bootstrap plugin to my version of Sublime Text, which means I can start to add Bootstrap, well, they call them classes, to my content. So I have a table here on the right-hand side, but it's pretty boring and uninteresting. I'm going to start to apply some of the Bootstrap styling to that. But I may not necessarily remember or have it in my mind. Doesn't matter because uh, the Sublime Text plugin has all of the Bootstrap information. So if I want a striped table, I can just select that here. And now you can see immediately on the right-hand side that, that that visual effect of setting that bootstrap class, or I might want borders as well. So you can do table bordered and you'll notice that it's doing what they call code completion. Now that's a little bit more sophisticated, it requires another plugin, but I guess what I'm using this is to illustrate is you can extend Sublime Text with more capability that gives you more power in your content creation workflows. And at the end of that, 
you simply, as you normally would do, save this. I'm just going to leave the full screen view, save those changes. And there's the resulting content. We've got our image. We've got some nonsense text, which I added. We've got our properly styled up table, our important flag, etc., etc. So you can see how much quicker that is to edit content. Now, in order to take best use of this, we need to have a number of things. We need to have the Sublime Text Editor, of course. We need to have a plugin to our browser. And you just go to the Chrome store and you search for ghost text. So I'm going to go to the web store, search for ghost text, and you add that to your browser. Now I've got it already added, but otherwise there'll be a button here for you to add that to your browser. The other thing while we're here is that this has quite a nice video tutorial about how this extension works. So this is also a really good source of information for you. And you'll notice that it's been very well rated. 123 people have all rated it five stars. It's very well liked amongst the developer community. So the next thing we now need to do is to install the appropriate package into Sublime Text. Now, I've already done this, but in order to show you the steps, I'm going to quickly toggle over to my Windows virtual machine and take you through the initial setup process. So let me swap screens for a moment. The way that packages are installed is through a feature called Package Manager, which for the very first time you use Sublime Text, you'll need to actually add it to the Sublime Text editor. We do that through the Tools menu. We go to the Command Palette. Become very familiar with the Command Palette because it's your quickest way to do anything within um, Sublime Text. It's where you get access to all of your commands. So Control-Shift-P on a Windows, Command-Shift-P on a Mac. And for the first time and the first time only, I'm going to install Package Control. So in here, start typing the words package control, and you'll notice that there's an option, second one down, to install package control. So I'm going to click onto that. That might take a few moments the first time, and then it'll come back with a message to say that it's completed. Now that I've got package control installed, I can use that to install further packages. So it effectively extend the capabilities of the Sublime Text Editor. So I'm going to go back to my command palette, and I'm going to search now for the word install. I'm going to install a package, so it's the first choice there. It will take a moment to list for me all the packages that I can install, and I'm going to install the package called ghost text. You can see it here. I select that, and then you'll get a bit of a message back to your editor to take you through the setup process, including for what it's worth, information about how you can install this on Chrome and on Firefox. So there you go, that's now set up. I'm gonna to toggle back to my Mac again to take you through the remaining parts. So now that you've got both ends of that installed, you can go to any part of bit of content, perhaps it's this bit here, go to the edit menu, in this case, the Atto editor built into Moodle. Once you've got your editable content on screen, you click the ghost text button and what that should do is refresh the content here on the right-hand side and you can commence your editing.